Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome to the episode of Retro Gaming. So, this time, this week, it's The Hobbit on the ZX Spectrum. A fantastic text-based adventure I spent many hours in my youth, and actually got me into reading the Tolkien books, because there was a map at the beginning of The Hobbit, and that was, we thought, at back then, indicative on how to complete the game. And it certainly did help, to be honest. And I think I owe this game an awful lot of um, credit due to reading the books and getting me into that as a small child. So anyway, The Hobbit, uh, produced by Melbourne House, a complete text adventure. I'm going to do a walkthrough now, so bear with me, it's quite comprehensive and mistakes have been made. Oh, okay, so here we are in our comfortable tunnel-like hall. Now, as we know with The Hobbit, it uses something called English, as in I-N, not supposed to E-N when you spell English, and that there are certain ways how to communicate with the game. So you're in a comfortable tunnel-like hall. To the east there is a round green door and you see a wooden chest. Gandalf. Gandalf is carrying a curious map. Thorin. And Gandalf gives the curious map to you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read that map. There are symbols on it, but you can't read them. Gandalf opens the door and Thorin says, hurry up. So, let's go through the door. East. You're in a gloomy, empty land with dreary hills ahead. So I'll wait for this to draw. Look at that. What a vista. To the west, there is a round green door. Visible exits are east, north, northeast. You will see nothing. It's a gloomy, empty land, so you're going to see nothing. Gandalf has entered, and then so is Thorin. So from here, we're going to go east. And here we go. It's one of the first main set pieces of the game. This is the Trolls Clearing. Now, some of you who have read the book and those who have seen the film will know that during the night, trolls come out. As soon as sunlight hits them, they turn to stone. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to get out of the way. There's a hideous troll here carrying a large key, a vicious troll. Gandalf enters, Thorin enters. The hideous troll says, Blimey, look at this. Can you cook him? And the vicious troll says, You can try, but the wooden make a mouthful. Okay, so from here, we need to get to a path. So we're going to go north. And here is the hidden path with troll's footprints. Let's wait for that to draw. Now, it's night time. We currently have to wait until dawn. So to the north, there's a heavy rock door. We need to go in there. Got to get our sword and stuff like that, as we know from the book. And we see nothing. Gandalf's here and so is Thorin. So then. Wait. Time passes. Gandalf says, hello. And Thorin waits. Let's wait again. Time passes. Gandalf takes the curious map. Thank you, Gandalf. I'll have that back. Let's wait. You wait. Time passes. Gandalf says, what's this? Well, he should know. It's a curious map. And Thorin waits. Now day has dawned. So that means we can now go back and get the key. So, south. And you can see the graphic has changed colour. The same line drawings. The fill is different. But it's daytime. So you're in a clearing with two stone trolls. Those trolls have gone, been turned to stone. Visible exits are southwest, southeast, and north. You see a large key. Get key. So we've got the key. So let's go north. We're on the trolls' path. If we look, we'll get a more detailed description as well. But from this point, we're going to unlock the heavy stone door. That's to the north. <clears throat> Unlock the door. So the door is now unlocked. We can go north. I can go north. Ah, we have to open the door. Now we can go north. 
So here we are now in the Troll's Cave. We've got a short, strong sword, so this is we know is Sting. And we have the rope. Take all. Okay, let's go south. And with the Troll's Path, so south again, takes us back into the clearing. Southeast from here, takes us to Rivendell. And I'm surprised with this game, even at the time, there wasn't a graphic for Rivendell. You know, quite a pivotal place, isn't it, Rivendell? Especially in Lord of the Rings, I know this is The Hobbit, but even in the book, it, it, it was quite a pivotal place. But not to worry, there always seems a bit of an anticlimax coming to see, to see old Elrond. So, Elrond says hello. Say to Elrond, hello. You talk to Elrond. Elrond gives you some lunch. Eat lunch. Eat lunch. Okay. Say to Elrond. Read map. Elrond examines the curious map. Elrond says, Go west from the treeless opening to get to the outside the goblin's gate. So west from the treeless opening to get outside the goblin's gate. Thank you, Elrond. Good for that. Um, so, say to Elrond, Give me map. Talk to Elrond. Thank you very much. Let's do an eye, make sure we've got it. We haven't got the map. Who's got the map? Thorin's carrying the map. Not to worry. And he's given us some more lunch. So as a result of this, now we can now carry on. We've had enough with Elrond, so we can go east. You are on a hard, dangerous path in the Misty Mountains. Visible exits are east, north, west, south. You see Gandalf, and Gandalf says hello. Thorin is also here. So, south. You're on a narrow path. East. Again, narrow path. And north. We'll head northwest. Still again on that narrow path. North and then southeast on a narrow path. Thorin enters. Now, from this point, we can go down. So we'll head down and we'll get into a misty valley. There it is, the misty valley. Now, from here, we go east along the valley and we get the golden key. Take key. Now we go up, back on that narrow path, and north. Then west, nice winding path. Gandalf has entered and so has Thorin. South, and then east. And it takes us to a narrow place with a dreadful drop into a dim valley. Now we're not far away now from the goblin dungeons. So Thorin's entered. So we go north and we find ourselves in a large dry cave which is quite comfortable. Below there is a small insignificant crack. Visible exits are south. Someone closes the small insignificant crack. So we've missed our window. We need to press wait. Wait again. Now this crack will open and we'll get captured by goblins. Someone's opened the crack. Time passes, the nasty goblin enters. The nasty goblin has now captured us and we're in the goblin dungeon. Okay, so someone's closed a small insignificant crack. So we wait. And wait again. 
out again. Now the goblins closed the door. So if someone's now opened it, we're going to wait and get captured. The nasty goblin enters. Wait. And we've been captured into the goblin's dungeon. Very yellow and gloomy. So a few things to do here. So we're in the goblin's dungeon. To the north is the goblin's door. Can't use that. To the west there's the window. You see some sand and Gandalf. So we're going to dig. And there's a trap door. We're going to smash the trap door. Hmm. Smash. Helps if I can spell trap door. Okay. Break trap door. This takes some doing. Smash trap door. Smash trap door. And it's kindly broken. In that trap door is a small curious key. Now Thorin has that. Say to Gandalf, because it's audience participation week. Open a window. Thank you, Gandalf. Helpful as ever. Gandalf's opened the window. Say to Thorin. Oh. Thorin. Carry me. Thorin carries you. Now, from this point, we're going to go through the window and try and get the ring and get out without being captured. Unlikely, I know, but we're going to try it. Thorin. Go west. Now, we find ourselves in a dark winding passage. To the north, there's the window we came through from the dungeon. Visible exits are southwest and southeast. We've got Thorin and a small curious key. So, we're now going to go southwest. You are now in a big cavern with torches along the walls. To the southeast, there is the goblin's door. Visible exit, a down, northeast, you see nothing. And we've got Thorin. Right, let's go down. We've got a hideous goblin. We're going to go north. We've got a hideous goblin and we've got another goblin. Southeast. We're in a stuffy passage, just Thorin this time, and then east. And we found the ring, and also Gollum is here. So take ring. So we've got the ring. Gollum says, what has it got in its pockets? So we've got that ring, which is absolutely fantastic. From here now, we're gonna go north. And then south. We've just... Okay, so. Let's get out of here. We've got Elrond and a mean goblin. So, let's wait. Where's Thorin? Thorin appears. Say to Thorin. Carry me. Say to Thorin. Go west. From here we go southwest and then down. From here we then go north, southeast, east. Of course, we get the ring. North. Then it says south, northwest, east. Now we open the door. 
and we go up and we are out of the goblin's kingdom. We're now going to close the door or close door. And then go east. You are now in a treeless opening. Now that was very quick, I know, but sometimes the timing of where the NPCs are, it's, it's all a matter of timing. Okay, so we're now in a treeless opening. We've escaped the goblin's lair. Time to go east. I went Bjorn's house. Now at Bjorn's house, there are exits northeast, northwest, south, southwest, and north. You see a heavy curtain. So, open curtain. We open the curtain. Behind that, there is a wall. And in the wall, there is a cupboard. Open cupboard. Take food. Okay, eat. Let's go for lunch. Because Elrond gave us some lunch. So, from here now, Bjorn's house, we're going to go, according to Elrond, da, 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 northeast. And that puts us up Mirkwood. Now we've got to be careful here about red elves. So if we wear the ring, Thorin, Thorin says, where's the thief? Okay, so, because I've known the red elf to come out, even down to the Misty Mountain, so it's around, or the wood elf. So, okay then, um, where to go next, really? Let's go east. We're now in a bewitched, gloomy place. East and west are the entrances and exits. There's a fast black river to the south, so we're going to go east. You're on the west bank of a black river. Visible exits are west. You see nothing. Now, this is where you got to use a little bit of cunning. Look across. Look across river. Look across the fast black river. You see the east bank of a black river. To the west, there's the fast black river. Visible exits are east. You see the wooden boat. Now, you may remember we picked up some rope in the troll's cave way back when. So, we are going to throw rope. Okay, we can't throw rope. Throw rope across river. Now, if we're lucky, we'll get it in the boat. Lands in the boat. Now, pull rope. You pull the rope. The rope boat glides across the river and lands on this side. Now, let's get Thorin in that boat. Say to Thorin, climb into boat. Thorin's not here. Come on, Thorin. Get with the program. Where is he? <sighs> Here he is. Right. Come on. Let's go. East. Thorin enters. East again. Got the boat. Say to Thorin, climb into boat. Then we climb into boat. You climb into the wooden boat. With a lurch, the boat glides across the river and lands on the other side. You're on the east bank of a black river. To the west, there is the fast black river. Visible exits are east. You see the boat. In the boat, there are you, Thorin. Thorin is carrying the small, curious key. Thorin has been an absolute diamond and got himself out the boat. Climb out. I climb out of the boat. Okay, fantastic. 
So from this point now, things start to get a little bit tricky. So let's look once again, remind us, we can go east. And we're now in the green forest. To the northeast, there's a spider web and you can exit west. So break web. web. Okay, so we now go northeast. And here are the spiders. You're in a place of black spiders. To the east, there's a web, west, web, north, web, south, web. You see nothing. Here is Thorin. So, break web. Right, north. You're at an elvish clearing with leveled ground and logs. It's nice. I've got to be careful for the old wood elf now. To the east, there's a broken web. To the northeast, there's the magic door. Visible exits are west. That's where the ring. Okay, so Thorin says, where's the thief? That means that you've disappeared. I must examine door. You examine the magic door. The magic door's warns of elves approaching. So let's wait. Let's wait again. The magic door opens and elf sweeps past. Now, if you're not wearing the wing, you've had it. So um, we're gonna go through that now. So northeast, through the door. You are in the Elven King's Great Halls. To the east, there is the red door. To the west, there's the magic door. Visible exits are south. Let's make sure you've got the ring on. You've got the ring on, okay. So let's go south. You're in the cellar where the king keeps his barrels of wine. To the northeast, there's the red door. Below is a large trap door. Visible exits are north. You see a barrel, the butler. The butler opens the barrel. In the barrel, there is some wine. Kill. We're gonna try and kill the butler with sword. Butler drinks some wine. Sword. Let's make sure we've got the ring on. The ring's still on. Kill Butler. Right. Wear ring. Take barrel. Now, who's with us? Where's Thorin? Where's Thorin gone? Thorin's not keeping up. Oh God. Right. So can we go now west through the magic door where Thorin should be? There is Thorin. Okay, let's go east. East, look. I've got to do this again now. So we are going to look across river. Right, throw rope across river. Throw rope across river. Rope, say to Thorin, climb into boat, 
say to Thorin, climb into boat. Oh, come on, Thorin. So we've got Thorin in the boat. Climb into boat. We're on the other side again. Okay, so if we wait, all right, say it's a Thorin. Has Thorin got not that boat? Honestly, okay. Right, say to Thorin, climb into boat. Say to <laughs> Thorin, oh God, this guy, you'd swear he'd never want to get to the Lonely Mountain. Right, Thorin is in the boat. Climb into boat. We're now on the other side. Excellent. Thorin's carrying the key. Thorin climbs out of the boat. Fantastic. Climb out. Now, east. Break web to the northeast. We're at the place of black spiders. Right, so they've repaired their webs, so we've got to do this again. So here we go. Smash web. North. We're in the Elvish clearing. Here we are again. Okay, have we got Thorin with us? Thorin is with us. Wear ring. We are wearing the ring. Examine door. You examine the door. We wait. Wait again. The door opens. We now go through the door, which happens to be northeast. Thorin enters. Brilliant. Let's go south. There's the butler. The butler captures you. Fantastic, Ebia. Normally you can do this without being captured, but Thorin has been a bit of a pain, and, well, that's where we are, really. Thorin's being a bit of a pain. So, just lots of waiting to do here. Gandalf's turned up, and he's got the red key. Excellent, which means we can get out. So, we're going to wear a ring. Right? Um... Say to Gandalf, unlock door. Gandalf unlocks the door. Open door. Um, right. West. Right. So, okay. South. We're back here. Say to. Thorin, jump onto barrel. Brilliant. Right, we've got rid. Right, we've got rid of Thorin. Let's look. So we got Gandalf here as well. Okay, so. Oakland Barrel. 
butler drink some wine now. Um, let's open door. Trap door. Okay. Kill butler with sword. Right, the butler's dead. Brilliant. Open red door. Gandalf enters. Right. Gandalf's gone north. That's up to Gandalf. Um, take barrel. We're going to take the barrel. Throw barrel through trap door. Jump onto barrel. Okay, so we are now traveling down a forest river. There's a strong port Cullis to the east. Above there's a large trap door. You see a fast river. You're in the barrel. You're thrown to the bank of the Long Lake. You're at Long Lake. To the northwest, there is the strong port Cullis. Visible exits are north, east, south. You see a barrel. In the barrel there is you. Thorin is carrying the small curious key. Brilliant. So we are now exactly where we want to be. Right. Let's go west. Climb out. I'm in the barrel, ain't I? Right, okay then. North. You're on a strong river. The current is now too strong to move up against. Visible exits are up and south. Let's go up then. Now we haven't got bird, right? And there's a dragon flying around. So let's go down. South. So here we are in Lake Town, in the middle of Long Lake. <clears throat> so we have Bard. Bard is carrying a bow. We can go north, south, east, or west. Um, pick up Bard. You carry Bard. Okay, so we've got Bard. Now, let's see. Let's go west. We're at Long Lake. Now go north. It's a strong river. We can go up. A bleak, barren land that was once green. Now, if we go north from here, you're in the ruins of the town of Dale. You see nothing. Thorin enters. Now, if we go north, you're at the front gate of the Lonely Mountain. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You either go through the side gate, get Thorin to open up, go in, steal the treasure, come back. Or oh, there's a way of killing the dragon. Say to Bard, shoot dragon. The dragon is now dead. Now, we can do what we want. We can do what we want, okay? So, let's look what we got. We can drop Bard. We only got to carry Bard with us, are we? So at the front gate of the Lonely Mountain, once again. Right. Drop Bard. So let's go west. You're on the west side of Ravenhill. Visible exits are north, southeast, east. North. You're in a little steep bay, still and quiet, with an overhanging cliff. North or south? North. You're in an empty place. I think we go up. Lonely Mountain West. We're at the side door. Now, extra points for this now. The holes vanish, so we just gotta wait. Thorin's got the curious key, the Durin's key which is um, basically what happens in the books and in the films, you've seen the film. Thorin and Bilbo and the company of dwarfs, who are not obviously in this game, 
wait until the last light of Durin's day, which is the moon. The moonlight shines upon the door. The door opens. They unlock the door. Well, the crack opens. They unlock the door with the curious key and they're in. So we're going to wait. There you go. There's a loud crack and a hole appears about three feet from the ground. You're standing in front of the side door of the Lonely Mountain. Say to Thorin. Unlock door with curious key. Okay, open door. Well, we should be able to open the door. Okay, let's go east then. Right, okay. You're in a smooth, straight passage. We're inside the Lonely Mountain now. Of course, the dragon's dead. What do we care? We go east. You're in the halls where the dragon sleeps. Now, we don't need to wear the ring because that dragon's dead. I remember seeing this years and years ago when it was saying, Oh, we're there, we're there at the dragon's hold. Look at the treasure. Okay. Take treasure. You've got the valuable treasure. East. You're in a smooth, straight passage. Who were misses? East again. You're in the lower halls. Up. You're on the lonely mountain. South. At the front gate. There's Bard, the dra dead dragon. South again. Dale Valley. So, here we are at the town of Dale. We're going to go south. We're going to go down. So, at the running river. South again. We're at Long Lake. South. You're at the waterfall. South again. You go south. You're at the running river. I think in the book it's called the river running. Okay. So fortunately for us, I've now been captured by the Wood Elf. Now the Wood Elf has captured me and taken me to the Elven King's Halls, which means I've missed a large chunk of the game. Fortunately for me, because I've skipped it, so that's great. So we can wear the ring. We can go west, then south, everyone's dead. Okay, so north, we do a proper look. Thorin's here. Examine the magic door. Okay, let's make sure the ring is on, because the ring has a habit of Wait again. Magic door opens. Let's go west. We're in the elvish clearing. The door's closed. Look, this is where we are. Now, here's the interesting bit. We've got to get past the spiders without being killed. You know something's going to happen because all these bulbous eyes happen. Uh, and come out. So we go, we're going to wear the ring. We're going to go west. Bewitch gloomy place. West again. We're at the forest gate. West. We're out. We're past them. Bring it with Bjorn's house. We're going to complete this game now. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to go south on the forest road. Ooh, let's go north. Forest Gate West. We're going to go southwest. Narrow, dangerous path. West. 
West Misty Mountain. Let's just look. Yeah, we should go west again. We're at Rivendell. Good old Elrond. West. The trolls clearing. No problem there. We're going to go southwest. The Lone Lands. So, this is where we are. We're right back at the beginning of the game now. So, fortunately, that Wood Elf captured us. We missed out an entire part where the spiders will um, capture you. You have to wait in certain areas for them to go through a cycle. So here we are. Um, and now west is a round green door. West. And we're back home. There and back again, so to speak. So, which was the original title of The Hobbit. So, wooden chest. All we do now is open chest. Put treasure in chest. And there you are. A cheering crowd of dwarves, hobbits and elves appear. Led by Gandalf, they carry you off into the sunset, proclaiming you hero of heroes and master adventurer. And that was it. That was a quick run through. I say quick run through. It's gone on for about an hour of The Hobbit. But that's how the game plays. It throws you many curveballs and the AI that was built into the game in all of its 48k or 16k to 48k beauty um, can be quite cantankerous, especially with the characters saying no when you ask them to do something. I suppose it made at the time for a more playable experience and we get used to that sort of thing in the games that we see today. But I think cutting edge and way ahead of its time. So I'll put um, detailed instructions on how to get through the entire walkthrough in the comments section. I've been Ricardo and this has been Retro Gaming for the ZX Spectrum. Please check back for more videos in the series where I look at the Atari ST, other console games, Elite Dangerous and more ZX Spectrum games. Thanks for watching.